Hello everyone. In this video, let's see how solver option works in the Open Office Calc. So let's get into the video. So I'm taking an example with considering a situation of finding the simple interest. So let me consider a principal is about six thousand and the time of two years and the rate of interest is five percent. And you're finding the simple interest. So what is the formula for simple interest? It is P T R by hundred. So we're going to use the same formula is equals to P T R by hundred. And click enter. So you get a simple interest of 600. So now what you're going to do is, uh, so in case uh, if a simple interest is about 1200, so what would be a principal? So this type of things we saw how to find the simple principal. So these things that all we saw in the last video in the goal seek. So if you haven't watched the video, I've given a link in the description, kindly watch it. So now let's see using solver option, uh, how a solver option works as a goal seek. So now let's see that. So now let's go to the tool menu, tools menu because solver and goal seek options are available in the tools menu. So now let me show you how solver works as goal seek. I'm going to the solver option and I'm selecting the cell containing the formula that is dollar C dollar seven. So when I'm giving a value of, I'm clicking on value of because I want exact value of 1200. So by the cells changing like principle. That is 6,000. So in the limiting conditions, you can, can give in the case of using the solver. So now I'm showing you how solver works as a goal C. So I'm clicking on the solve now. So as you can see, it's, uh, it's showing the solving result. So it is, if the simple interest is 1,200, then your principal will be 1, I mean 12,000. So I'm restoring the previous changes to the previous changes because I want to find the using the solver option. So again, I'm going to the rules solver. So I'm going to solve now the real solving option. So now I'm going to target cell. I'm giving a simple interest, clicking the formula, the cell which is having the formula and giving the value of value of, let me give a different value. So now I'm taking has 10,000, I mean 1,000. Now I'm taking a simple interest of 1,000. So let me see what happens. So I'm going to tools, solver, selecting the cell which contains the formula and value of 1,000. Then by changing the cells of principal and also in the case of solver, you can create, I mean, change more than one, I told you. So I'm selecting these two cells and these two cells have been selected. I mean, the cells of the address has been selected. Now the cell referencing, I'm giving the principal amount. It can be principal can be like lesser, I mean, less than or equal to 8,000 and the time which can be less than or equal to seven years and the rate of interest can be of always be equal i mean or let me greater than five so now i'm closing i mean clicking on the solve option so now we got the solving successfully why it turned into 8,000? Actually, I asked 1,000, but why it's showing us 2,800? I mean, because I gave a principal value which could be greater or equal to 8,000. So that's why it's showing like this. So if you want to get the exact value, so let me show you that also. In case of adding uh, 8,000, I'll give to equal to equal to 6,000. Now I click solve. So I'm getting 1,100. So this type of you can do solver by adding the principal value on your own. So this is how and also I changed the time, rate of interest and the simple interest. So this is how solver option works.